The interactive session with stakeholders in the oil industry by the Nigerian Senate Ad Hoc Committee investigating alleged economic sabotage in the Nigerian petroleum sector turned into a forum for accusation and counter-accusations on Wednesday in Abuja. Amid pervasive allegations of sabotage in the petroleum industry, the Senate raised questions over $1.5 billion approved in 2021 for the turnaround maintenance of the Port Harcourt refinery with little or no results. In his opening remark, the Senate leader and chairman of the committee, Okoyemi Bamidele, had pleaded with the stakeholders not to resort to blame games, but to show calm and understanding. But Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Medekari, in his submission, exonerated his company, saying it is not responsible for the importation of adulterated products into Nigeria. Kiari particularly said the substandard products are actually smuggled into the country. Uh, the essence of today's meeting is one for us to be able to meet with the stakeholders and to be able to also uh, make you to be a part of our agenda setting and most importantly to be able to appeal to all stakeholders in the meantime uh, by saying let the accusations and counter accusations you know stop um, we understand the concern of nigerians a lot of nigerians are concerned about ensuring that we do not kill local initiative and local investment to allow them to survive just like a lot of nigerians are also concerned about ensuring that we do not consciously inaugurate a monopoly you know uh, which will not serve overriding public interests and which will not be consistent with global best practice standards. All these are issues, but in the meantime, while we work with you to address all of this, we call on all our stakeholders. See what's happening in the media. Targeted personal attack on my person, on the institution. And we all know how this works. They are deliberate, they are calculated, so that create the impression that the NMPC Limited and our leadership are doing anything to create economic sabotage in our country. It is far from it, Mr. Chairman. This company has grown, Mr. Chairman. We're proud to say this. From a lost company for 43 years to a profit-making company today, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, it's very clear from everything you have said through this investigative hearing that you can see the majority of the issues you have raised have nothing to do with the NMPC Limited. Yet, everybody believes, by sharing this information which my minister has highlighted, that NMPC is responsible for creating any economic sabotage in our country. In his own remarks, Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Olawale Edu, said the increase in the crude world stabilized the country's foreign exchange market while expressing confidence in the leadership of the ad hoc committee to conduct an unbiased and impartial investigation. There is a commitment to dealing with these issues and the focus also remains uh, in the oil and gas industry in improving incentives already. Mr. President has signed some executive orders which have meant that a oil and gas investments, particularly the gas sector, have started to flow back. We saw a $500 million investment just a couple of weeks ago, and we are told that about $7 billion, naira dollars, sorry, $7 billion, there was a $500 million investment already made, and around $7 billion on the sidelines, waiting for the correct investment environment. We are committed as a country it has been shown that we'll complete the rehabilitation of those refineries so that we can reduce the level of import that you know um, we need you know to be able to uh, serve the needs of Nigerians. We're also committed to supporting the the refinery. We are committed to supporting the modern refineries, and we have been resolving whatever issues that have brought to our attention to, uh, from time to time. The session was also attended by Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, Benga Komolafe, and representatives of Customs Services, Navy, Association of Local Refiners, Dangote Group, and others who assured the committee that they would wait for the appropriate time to tell their own side of the story to the Nigerian public. Um, and 
we count on uh, support of the committee, the regulators, and other stakeholders to ensure that the refinery succeeds. Because if it does, aside from the other obvious benefits, like FX generation, job creation, and the rest, most importantly, there is the psychological benefit of making, like, giving Nigerians and Africans in general the confidence that we can succeed. We can build big things and make them successful. It is pertinent to know that the value chain in the downstream should be sustained to allow other investors to continue to play their role effectively. This will go a long way in protecting those who, are, who have invested in the oil and gas sector. If man as a body, sir, would like to use this medium to solicit the support of the Senate to ensure that there is a level playing ground in this sector of the economy. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.